Yeah. Okay. So, uh, my turn <laughs> to share my Linux Plus, um, how I pass it. Um, so, uh, as you, some of you may know, I passed the Linux Plus test um, in June, I think, uh, on the same day with Spencer. Um, so, for people who, um, here's my blog, I can send you guys the URL later for you guys to um, read again after, after this. Um, so, by the way, is the screen big enough? Okay. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's a quick description of the Linux Plus certificate, uh, what kind of skills you're gonna get. Um, and I also put a URL here to the official Linux Plus um, site so you guys can have more information if you're thinking about this. So basically I uh, did this in six weeks. Uh, although I got the license, since September 2019 um, as a TA, but I never actually studied it. I did open the book uh, and then try to read maybe a page, half a page, but I'm not a reader. So thank you, Shan Shan, for today's presentation. Um, so yeah, so that's why I never actually studied it. Um, the book was more than 700 pages. Um, so it was really hard for me. Um, and my starting knowledge, I think I got about 10 to 15% of what's needed. Uh, so I know basic stuff like, you know, partitioning disk or installing software and, you know, basic um, programming and computer science student stuff, um, but definitely not enough. So with that, um, I say, okay, let's just get it over with. Um, I have the license, let's just take it. So. Um, I booked the test. I gave myself three weeks. I booked the test three weeks um, out. So then I told myself, okay, I'll have three weeks to make it happen. So I get more uh, motivation to learn the learning material. So at this point, uh, with this three weeks, um, I use the um, um, exam preps, which looks like this. Um, and then they have also performance based questions and then they have the book. And I also use IT Pro TV and I create my own flashcards and I make notes and cheat sheets. Um, so for the exam preps, this is what it looks like. They basically divided the content by uh, the exam objectives. And you know, if you open it up, there'll be um, each section, they will have subsections. Um, and so we, basically it's um, multiple choice questions. Um, and either you choose your wrong answer or correct answer afterwards, they will give you the explanation of your of the options. So that's super helpful and it's not boring. Um, and here's the percentage um, of the objectives that will show up in the exam. Um, so because I only have three weeks, so I decided I'm gonna pay more attention on the um, contents that have higher percentage to show up in the test. Um, and so um, with that, let's see. Um, okay, so I was doing, I was just doing the prep exam, which is this one. But at some point when I read the explanation, I still feel like I think I'm missing something. Um, it didn't make sense, all of it. So I looked at the book and I realized that um, all the information is there. So I started to include the book when I do the prep exam. And then also I use IT Pro TV because I'm one of those people that uh, Shan Shan described. Um, listening, it's better for me. Uh, and these guys are super great. They are experts and they make things so easy to understand. Um, so they make all these concepts much easier to, to grasp. Um, and basically, this is my uh, routine, how I did it. Uh, so when I start studying uh, the day, I will start by going into the CompTIA exam preps and then I will choose a module module that I want to learn about. And then I'll go to IT Pro TV. I will look for that content, that module, and then I'll, I'll listen to the video. And then at the same time, I will type along the commands that the speakers, they show and they type in the videos. Um, I do slow down a lot here uh, to make sure I understand what the command's doing and what's the output of the command because um, that's what's gonna show up in the test. So some 
there are some questions that they will give you the output and they want you to know what command you should put in to get that kind of output. So it's very important to, to know what the command's actually doing. And once I'm done with IT Pro TV, um, I go back to the CompTIA exam preps and I do the questions. Um, at this point, because I already have some knowledge from IT Pro TV, so I get more uh, correct answers. Um, that feels much better. And um, after that, I still have some wrong um, answers. Then I will go to a CompTIA book and I will read about um, the, that topic again one more time. Once I'm done, I go back into the CompTIA exam preps and review all the questions that I've done that day again. Um, and if I have time, I will redo those questions that I got wrong. And I just keep doing this over and over and again for all the topics. Um, and along the way, while I uh, study the materials, I keep noting down all the useful commands. Um, and I divided it by different topics. Um, here's just a cut of one of those. And I also put um, them into a Trello board to make it um, flashcards like this um, for me to study uh, because I forget things a lot. It's so much to learn. Uh, so I think it's pretty helpful. And also um, there are a lot of concepts that I have no idea what was going on, right? So um, I had to draw it out for me to understand it. And so I did have a um, PowerPoint slides that I just keep all my visualizations. Uh, I draw things into diagrams so that it makes more sense to me. Uh, for example, this one, there's command SU and SU dash. Uh, okay, it's so similar, what's the difference? Or I'm sure a lot of you guys are like always confused with who am I, who and W. Um, so I draw it as well and a lot of them, I like that. Um, and then, okay, so that was about two weeks that I keep doing the same routine. And I said, okay, I wanted to try it out to see how far I go. Um, and I did a practice test and I got 60% correct answer. And it's definitely not enough. Uh, the recommended percentage is 90%. Um, so I did it two more times on the same day. Uh, and then the average answer I got is still 60%. So I didn't want to risk it. It's $400. I want to appreciate it. So um, I rescheduled my test. I pushed it out a little bit. Um, and then um, I reanalyzed uh, my strategies to see what worked and what didn't work. And I realized that the first thing was my Trello board. Um, there's a lot of information in here. It's very helpful. But I realized that me flash carding myself was not so helpful because let's say I pick a, a card uh, from here, but I already can see that, oh, it belongs to this column. So it's in this certain topics. And that kind of cheat a little bit because I my brain doesn't have to like really think about the question. Oh, what topic are they talking about? And have to analyze the question. Um, so it's there's no surprise factor. There's, it's not too tricky, so I think maybe that's why I keep forgetting things that I put into the Trello board. Um, and also, I always feel like having to explain things to other people uh, make me understand things better. Uh, that's the experience I got from being a TA. So I thought, okay, uh, I'm gonna find another person who's also studying Linux Plus and join me. Uh, so that I can practice uh, explaining things. So I asked Spencer, "Is like, hey, uh, do you have time? Can I try to explain some Linux Plus concepts to you? And Spencer was super nice. And he said, yeah, let's do it. So here we are, uh, a lot of nights like this. Um, so basically um, what we did, yeah. So in the beginning, um, I asked Spencer to just go through my Trello board and don't let me know which column or which topic he's talking about, just pick a question and ask me, all based on his preference. So then I have to work harder trying to analyze the question and what topic he's talking about to get the correct answer. Um, and then uh, when I tried to explain the concepts or the chapters of the book to Spencer, it forced me to read the book carefully. So then a lot of more diagrams coming and I do really feel like this time I understand the book much better because I'm trying I was trying to explain it to another person 
Um, and then we level up the game. Um, we exchange. So let's say today I explain a chapter, then the next day Spencer will explain another chapter. And we keep flashcarding each other. And uh, while one person explain it, uh, the other person always have uh, questions coming up. Uh, even it's about the chapters that you already read, but just because you hear it from another person, you see different perspective and you started to have questions. So it was super, super helpful. Um, and then here is the mind map that Spencer created. It's really interesting. So I put it in my blog for anyone who's interested. Um, and then uh, what else did I do? Okay. So, uh, oh, I remember even Spencer have this app that he used uh, to create the flashcard. It's, it it gives you the percentage of uh, how often you are, you are doing the questions and so on. Um, and then uh, next. So we realized that the more we study, the more new concepts keep coming up. So it's impossible for us to know all the options. So then we started to uh, move towards trying to guess things um, educatedly. <laughs> so then let's say if you look into a question, you don't know um, the correct answer, but you know some of the options, then uh, we try to rationalize it. We try to analyze all the options and see, okay, uh, this one doesn't sound right because of this, because of that. We try to explain it uh, using the knowledge we have to eliminate the wrong answers or the answers that we think are wrong to get the correct answer. And it works amazing. Uh, this is our Linux Plus happy hours. Um, a lot of long nights studying Linux Plus. And so when uh, at some point we said, OK, um, uh, let's try it again, the practice test. And we did it individually. And then we come back and did it together, two people doing the same test. And while we do the test, we don't care about the time. We just focus on the question and the content of the question, and we discuss each question to learn about, to learn from each, other, each other's thought process and how we would go about a question. Uh, and on average, uh, for me, I got around 80% of correct answers. So it feels, uh, it feels like a really good progress. I, 20% more, so it feels good. And um, during the time I study with Spencer, I did reschedule my test twice. Um, and at that point, when I got 80%, I said, okay, it's really tiring to keep rescheduling. And I just worry that if I keep responding, it will never happen. So I said, okay, let's just do it. Uh, if I fail, at least I know how the actual test looks. So I can prepare again next time. Um, so I went ahead and book the test. Oh, and this is kind of my routine, how it looks like. Um, IT Pro TV one side, Trello board on the other side, CentOS on the other computer, typing all the commands. And then the book is in the background in another screen. Um, and so I booked the test, right? I said, okay, let's just do it. Um, and before the exam, uh, because I typed the test online, so there's just something to keep in mind, just making sure that everything around you is clean. You're not allowed to have anything on the desk. Um, and you have to screen your desk. There's a proctor, somebody sitting there virtually to kind of monitor you, making sure like you're not cheating. Um, and I know my internet is not so stable. So the day before, I just quit all the applications in my device and I reboot the device and I reboot my Wi-Fi, making sure that I have the best performance. Um, and I don't study anything else um, the day before the exam. So my mind's completely relaxed and ready. And then during the exam, um, in the first five questions, I really thought game over. Uh, what is this? <laughs> I read the question and I had no idea what's going on. Uh, so I, for the first question, I realized I spent over a minute and I didn't want to spend over a minute for any questions. So then I didn't complete it and I just keep moving on. And that happened for my first five questions. But then after that, um, it really falls into my knowledge bank. So uh, I did really fast on the next questions. And then for the questions that I wasn't sure about, um, there's a feature that you can mark those questions to review later. So I just marked them down. And once I finished with the last question, I come back up to the questions that I didn't finish. And by that time, because you go through 90 questions and a lot of knowledge already came back to you, or you get a lot of hints from the other questions because you see like same options which show up in different questions. 
Um, so it's kind of give you idea of how things might look like or this thing might be related to that thing. So it helped me to come back up to the first questions and complete them. And by the time I completed all the questions, I still have 30 minutes left. So I went through um, all the questions that I was not very confident about. And I think I changed about 10 to 20% of the answers um, for those questions. Um, and I think after that, I even have enough time to go through all of my questions one more time. And I had about three minutes left. Um, so I call it a day, I just submit and go. And I pass. Surprisingly, I <laughs> could not believe it. Um, so, but yeah, it it was hard, but it it was very rewarding. It feels amazing. After taking the Linux Plus, I do feel like everything makes sense. Uh, for computer science, for everything that I learned, it's Linux Plus. It really breaks things down and give you the connections of how things is. So. Uh, yeah, recap, um, the exam prep was really helpful for me. It's a way to learn the contents and the theory parts without being feeling boring. And then the book is super important. Even I'm not a big reader, but I have to say you cannot skip it. IT Pro TV, not only for Linux Plus, but they have different things about AWS, um, security, other things. It's super interesting. Um, the speakers are awesome. And um, for me, I think practicing the commands was super helpful. Um, I, it's really, really makes a lot of sense. And then learning by teaching was awesome. Um, thanks, Spencer, for joining me so that I can have a chance to explain things to others and it deepens my knowledge. Um, and here's just some tips to pay attention during the exam, just basically, you know, relax and make sure you don't spend too much time on one question. Um, and pretty much that's it. I'll give you guys the link in the chat box. And 